Hey guys and happy new year. I am really excited to dive into a review of 2019 based on the top nine that the top nine.net generated for me. Um, I really love to do this every year because I like to see an overview of what was received the best on the other end of the platform. I love a community that I get to engage with and it is always so important for me to take time and understand what type of moments are um, causing the most engagement. So here we go. We're going to review my 2019 top nine. Okay, so we're going to start with Polaroids. I mean, who does not love Polaroids? I am a huge fan. And this one was really fun to post about because I also added a few detailed shots of how um, Eddie and Mars set up their um, guest entrance where they allowed their um, guests to take photos on a Polaroid camera and then put them in a book and sign. But it's also the way that they decorated this kind of like home, um, like this little home decor vibe and I loved it so much. And then I had them snap, well I actually snapped a photo of each of them individually in a portrait and then I used that as a quick little um, portrait session with just the two of them. It was really cute and really special. Okay, so this next photo is David and Devin in their wedding. Um, this was on a farm property here in Bakersfield and I am so in love with it because it just has this blissful vibe to it with her veil blowing in the air and it just really feels true to who they are as people. As you slide in this post, you see a few more shots from that day. This is the first um, post that I revealed after their wedding so it got really good engagement, a lot of love. Um, because they are just so beautiful and such a wonderful, um, they're just wonderful people on the inside too, so they are super loved. Um, I really um, loved the bell shots with her. I'm, I'm actually not a huge fan of always doing bell shots. That's not something that I naturally am drawn to, but um, in this case with Devin, um, it just felt so classic and so beautiful and sort of like um, dainty and chic. And I did a couple shots like that. So it was really nice. All right, up next is a photo of me holding my baby bump. This was when I was pregnant with Sophia, my third and last child. And she happened to be a baby girl after having two boys. So it was a really um, special moment in our lives, just kind of feeling like our lives had taken a full circle. I was uh, feeling this moment from the inside out, to be honest, and it really showed in the end result of all the portraits that Carol took of us that day. Um, I'm a huge fan of this session. In fact, I need to print a bunch of photos still and put them everywhere, but they are um, so special. And I like it because I, I feel so beautiful when I look at this photo. Um, which, you know, we're always so hard on ourselves, but this feels so beautiful because I felt so beautiful on the inside. So it was a good um, moment, and I love that you also loved it with me. Okay, guys, let's talk about this next portrait because it is so special, but I guess I didn't realize how much it would also influence and touch other people's lives outside of Zach and Katie's. I knew in this very moment that it was special, it would be a special, kind of like a legacy portrait for their families. But I didn't realize that so many other people would also so very much connect to it at heart. So in this portrait, I was actually just taking a simple portrait of both sides of the grandparents, um, Zach's side and then um, Katie's side. And they were all standing together in a normal traditional portrait setting. And then I just imagined this shot. I thought, how beautiful and what a representation of a long and lasting love and how I almost use this portrait as a, I guess like a, a, a symbol 
that Katie and Zach would also have that same lasting love for eternity. This next portrait was actually taken by my son. Um, <laughs> it was um, just us hanging out, honestly, having affogatos for the first time at Cloud9. Delicious, by the way. Got to try them. Um, and we were just hanging out, but I took this. I had him take this portrait of us, um, and they always get like the best portraits of me and my husband because it's just us being silly or smiling or laughing, and it's a lot of fun. But also with this post and why I feel it got into the top nine was because um, I used it as a post for a giveaway um, in relation to marriage. So um, that is so special to me because I love um, giving to the people that show up with me all the time on this social media platform. And um, I was able to give away with a few other vendors and collaborators a really special um, photo shoot that we are going to be doing in February. So that's what that post is about. Okay, let's talk about this next post, which is honestly one of my highlights of 2019. I got a chance to photograph my sister-in-law getting proposed to. I mean, hello, that is so incredible and special. Um, Carol did video with me, and I believe that I owe half of this win to her because her video is at the end of this post, and it is just so stunning, heartfelt, beautiful. So a good combination of both of our work and also um, showing people a little behind the scenes on how we actually set up this proposal site. Um, of course, with Roots Macrame um, piece just shining it over like beach views and perfect setting and such a beautiful couple that was thrilled to be engaged. So. It was perfect, honestly, a highlight of 2019. Okay, so this next one is actually really interesting. It's, it was actually just taken on um, my iPhone. I set a timer. Um, my husband and I were going on a date with a few friends. It felt good on the inside, like we were just feeling really happy just to have time together. Um, and so I snagged him real quick and I'm like, hey, please take a picture with me because he is the worst um, about taking photos. So I'm like, let's just go right here. So we literally went by our house. I put this iPhone on a post that was right there and set the timer. I had probably about two or three takes before he was like, okay, did you get what you need? Let's move on. Um, so this one was a fun one. It really just shows us um, and on the post I actually talk about how we're thriving just being us and how we should all celebrate the differences that we have as couples and enjoy um, the fact that we're all um, unique and special. So this is my This Is Us post. Okay, so talk about Field of Dreams, right? So this portrait session was done by my good friend Tora. Um, it is one of the most um, just like overwhelming portrait sessions for me because I never imagined that I would have a girl, let alone um, such a beautiful and fun little girl. And we were just out in the field together. Uh, we dressed up all girly. Um, it was a super bloom that California had and it was so much fun. And and now I have these memories with her that I will treasure treasure forever because she is in such a beautiful like age at this moment. So that was very fun and I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed that session as much as I did. All right, I'm closing with my ninth square, which is um, me with my couple Dan and Bianca. Okay, so if there is a photo that can sum up the way I feel doing my job and working with the people I work with, it would be this photo. And I love that you guys love it as well because this is the kind of connection that I love to build with my clients. Um, so in this photo, um, I had gotten into this kind of rhythm or routine that midway through um, the year that I would kind of jump into the shoot with my clients and do a few snaps. So this happened to be one of those, those moments where I finished their sunset shoot and we were getting ready back 
to go back to the reception and I just told Andrea, my second shooter, would you please just take a picture of me and my couple and instead of doing the smiling and standing, we just sort of had fun and I just started to walk and, and that's where this photo came from. So it really represents um, how much I thrive and com come alive doing what I do and being with the people that I get a chance to be with. So. As I overview the big picture of the top nine of 2019, it makes me so excited. It is a combination of all the things that I love um, and all the things I hope my business stands for, which is, um, you know, the deep connections, um, portraits that hopefully withstand time and legacy, and then have some kind of roots of deep legacy. Um, just these personal moments because obviously I walk my personal life um, with as much passion as I do my business life and they just infuse as one and I am so grateful to have um, a community on the other side that um, is very supportive on both sides and likes to see both things um, and then just touches of style which I love to influence inf infuse in my work so it's been a super fantastic year. Um, if I could describe 2019 as anything, it would just be steady. Um, there was moments where I wanted to shift and I couldn't. Um, there was moments I wanted to shift and I was scared. And then there was moments I wanted to shift and didn't quite feel ready. Um, I've grown to understand that that's okay and I find myself a little bit going into 2020 the way I wanted to go into it in 2019. So a lot of the things that I planned and had goals for did not even happen. So in 2020, um, I just believe a shift is coming um, and I want to believe that I am ready for that shift um, and I'm also certain it's not going to be easy but YouTube being one of them you guys I am so excited because I'm pushing myself a little harder this year I believe that I've been showing up um, faithfully on Instagram and giving my best on that platform although I will continue to do so I feel like there was a little bit of a like I tapped out that platform a little bit and so YouTube seems to be the most natural direction I was contemplating podcasting or YouTube but being that I actually enjoy sharing my life and I'm pretty much like this open book on the other side of the camera now based on my um, Instagram stories I am excited to start creating more in-depth content um, for YouTube so some of the things that you can look forward to um, are a little bit more of lifestyle, so giving you insight on my personal life, how I handle being mom and wife and business. And then another um, avenue is going to be a lot of photography tips behind the scenes and all of that good stuff. And one more avenue will be the business side where I will um, share any tips and tricks I learned to show up on these platforms or anything I'm learning along the way. So I am really excited and if that sounds like something that you want to see more of and if you're excited to go on this journey of growth with me I am going to say like the youtubers say subscribe and like this video and share it with somebody I would really appreciate it if you found this at all insightful or useful or fun anyways I hope you have a great happy new year and I hope that it is full of surprises and the best kind of surprises for you. So, Happy New Year, guys, to 2020.